A hectic poll is continuing in South Africa where uncertainty looms large over the future of the country's sitting president, Cyril Ramaphosa, has now broken his silence and he has said that he is digging his heels in and will not resign. Listen in to what we're saying. Just attended a meeting of the National Working Committee and uh, I have been recused from the meeting because they are going to discuss the panel's report and as per our own experience and history and tradition, it's always best when a matter that affects a person personally uh, should be discussed in their absence. So that's precisely what has led to my recusal uh, to enable members of the National Working Committee to have a thoroughgoing discussion on the report uh, without my presence, without rather me being there, uh, so that they are free uh, to express themselves as openly and as thoroughly as possible uh, without any form of fear or favor. It's up to the National Executive Committee, to which I am accountable to, uh, to take whatever decision. Now, soon after recusing himself from the 4th of December African National Congress meeting, Ramaphosa said that he will in fact attend the National Executive Committee's Monday meeting. The Ramaphosa spokesperson had earlier said that the president will not resign. The spokesperson further called the parliamentary panel report as completely flawed. And the statement, of course, came after the Allies rallied behind him to stay on during the Friday meeting. Now, Ramaphosa has been under fire since June after a leaked report found evidence that the South African president may have in fact committed misconduct over a stash of cash that was stolen from his farm, also known as the Farmgate scandal or the cash and cushion scandal. The former head of intelligence, Arthur Fraser, alleged that Ramaphosa had tried to conceal the theft of a huge sum of cash at his farm in 2020. Now, Fraser further accused Ramaphosa of money laundering and violating foreign currency control laws. However, Ramaphosa has denied any wrongdoing, insisting that the money was in fact proceeds from the sale of animals at his farm. Ramaphosa will now be contesting for the elections for the ANC presidency on the 16th of December. And we earlier spoke with our correspondent, Calden Angu, who is reporting from Johannesburg, and this is what she's had to say. It's a race against time for the ANC to decide Ramaphosa's fate. But one thing has become clear. Ramaphosa has decided to fight back as he weighs in to take Section 89 panel report for a review. The ANC has said when its highest decision-making body, the National Executive Committee, meets on Monday, they will be able to decide on the final stance. Meanwhile, Ramaphosa has spoken to media for the first time since the release of the report and he says he will be attending the NEC meeting on Monday and they will make the final call. This is Calden Ongmo from Johannesburg, South Africa. For Weon, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.